and I'm teaching a half dozen rotors classes a week in, in the city. Saturday was a baker day. We'd go to the baker, get the beautiful fresh bread, and cut it thick. You know, and, and, and because we were vegan, I'd slap, you know, put the, the vegetables on top of it, and go, oh boy, I'd plow it. But half an hour later, I was asleep on the lounge. Ellen said to the boys, look, let Dad sleep, because you know, he's been teaching all the, the rotors classes during the week. He's tired. But that wasn't the case. I'd taken a drug called food. I suffered reactive hypoglycemia. I was renowned for falling asleep, going to dinner with Eric and Sue. Because <laughs> I'd have the bread and the beer and all that sort of stuff. And I'd take a drug, it's in my, my blood sugar up, and plummeting down. Meanwhile, I was putting on weight around the waist on my high fat vegan, on my low fat vegan diet. And I didn't have an energy, and I was feeling cross. Uh, because I took a drug called food, but it was having a negative impact. Uh, you know, and now that you know, book written, Food Being Medicine, here's a lovely quote. The food you eat can either be the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. And I think what Eric said just about oral hygiene, these things can take 10 and 20 years to manifest themselves. And, you know, we had a friend borrow our diesel car. Uh, we got a four wheel drive diesel car. And guess what they did? They filled up with petrol. That was a very expensive exercise. So you've got to determine what is the right fuel for your body. Because I'm convinced that one diet doesn't fit all. We're in the, di we're in the diet business. We're in the weight loss business. Diets work, but people don't work. But they've got to have the diet that's right for them. Jeannie says you've got to find what works best for you. And you've got to have a process. Okay, so it's workshop time. Now it's time for you to do something. What I'd like you all to do is roll up your sleeves. Roll up the sleeves so we can see your forearm. Please, do it now. I'm the boss. Um, quick, 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 quick. Okay, now compare your skin colour to the person next to you on your forearm, right? Just have a look, you two. Even if you're in the same family, that's okay. Now, don't talk, I didn't say talk, I was just going to say compare. I want you to choose which one of you probably has the lowest sun torrents, which means if you both went out and laid on the beach at South Bank there, which one would have to start covering up the city? Now, uh, I want you to, if it's you, put up your hand. If you're the one with the lowest sun tolerance, now, is there anything you can do about that? Apart from staying out the sun, apart from putting on sunblock, apart from covering up. There is nothing you can do about it, is there? So, each one of us has different sun tolerance. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. Equally, we have an individual carbohydrate tolerance. When we went to lunch in Paddington, there was this very slim girl, and we didn't order any bread or rice or pasta or anything like that. She said, I live on it. She has a very high carb tolerance, and good on her. Because <laughs> me say, I want a body like you, so I'm going to start eating like you, doesn't work. And we've, in our fitness club, we've got personal trainers, you don't want to eat like them. They're naturally slim. You know, if, you, if, you, if they said, just eat like me, you would be fat. Um, and so you've got to figure out your, what is your individual carbohydrate, uh, carb, carbohydrate tolerance per meal and per day and per process. For some people, like that girl we saw yesterday, it's 200 grams a day. Uh, for some, it's only 150. For some, it's 180. 60, and Jimmy, I think yours is around 20, is that right? Around 20 grams per day. So one diet doesn't fit all. You just got to figure out what's right for you. Now, um, and you have to be under your carb tolerance for at least two weeks, uh, and maybe four weeks, or maybe even six weeks or longer, before you keto adapt, which is a great term, where your body starts creating its own energy from your own fat stores. And, and is it? If anybody's passionate about exercise, and I hope you all are, or particularly performance, like there's so many cyclists in Brisbane, the art and science of low-carb performance is a fabulous book to read. You know, but uh, we'll post those links later. So, uh, to your body, it, it, and it doesn't make any difference where the carbs come from, whether it comes from fruit, starchy veggies, grain, milk, juice, soft drink, beer, or wine, doesn't make any difference. You know, it's apolitical. Your body doesn't care. It's going to just bring it into glucose. What have I just done? 